to it tomorrow. All right. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers, the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Expected is around every corner. Uh, I'm not sure we want to use all our supplies on this guy. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. We're getting some fire from up ahead. I'll go low. You flank. Later with Kim. <laughs> yeah, he could use the XP. Hello, treasure. I think we got some action up ahead. Anyone? Anyone? We're under attack. Anyone in the area? We're under attack. I think that's part of Praxis' mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. <laughs> oh, come on. Be something good. Oh, yes! Jer's Wrath. Oh, nice. Large-scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shipper Starman coming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. This is a cruel world. Uh, and humans have almost eradicated your kind entirely. Here we can see two of them hacking away at the body of your father, probably to take a trophy. Hit that hump! They've spotted us. We need to get away. And while a child, you can easily be killed, even by the weakest humans. We're trapped on this bridge. Maybe there's an escape route. Okay, I think we're safe. As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, 
you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl into spaces that no human could follow. Now this huge cave with the mysterious tree is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature, and see what they're capable of doing. Oh shit. Two dog. Two dog. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Go. 
if I die before I win, I pray the Lord my soul. On your guard, stand firm and faith. Be courageous and strong. Watch this. Fishing is great, even if you don't catch anything. That wasn't too bad. Liberating some acids, huh? You got a kind face. Nice day. Impress Mary May when you help Free Falls end. What? If I died right here and now by the water, I'd be happy. Hope I don't go. Keep doing what you're doing.
with sin. Free them that they may know my... the other apostate. <laughs> Clip her wings. One of them. Lev. your backs. My name is Joseph Fares, and I'm the writer director of A Way Out. A Way Out is a story driven co op game. It is designed, played, and experienced only in split screen co op, which means you have to play the game with a friend, either online or on your couch. The game starts in a prison. You play as Vincent and Leo. You and a friend will get to know your characters and unfold their story together. You don't know anything about me, man. Maybe not. But Harvey killed someone very close to me. With or without you, I'm going after him. Let me show you some of the scenarios in the game. On the right side, you see Liu, who's already in prison. On the left, you see Vincent, who just arrived. Now, if you look to the right again, you can see that Liu can be controlled while Vincent is in a cutscene. Here is another one. Vincent and Liu are now in the laundry room. Your goal is to smuggle sheets using a laundry cart. You can approach the scenario in different ways. Either get to cart with Vincent. You know, I got a good pack right here. I think it's got your name on it. It's uh, broken. I don't know. Or with Leo. Get over here, you idiot. Yeah, but I think those two guys are just about to fight. Uh, what the? What? Who's him? 
In A Way Out, you will experience something new all the time. Everything you do in the game is unique for that scene. We want you and your friend to be focused and engaged throughout the entire story. But let me tell you, this is just the beginning of what you will be experiencing in A Way Out. Give me a gun! <laughs> Relax, man, I got this. Oh, they missed it. He actually says, hello, Citizen Cop, but you guys are all laughing when you saw the guy. actor that we had that was in um, uh, People to Planet. He's actually in Squadron 42. He plays a character called Joachim Steiger. So let's go and see the distress beacons about almost three kilometers away over there. We get our little scope out. All right, so let's figure out how to get there since we can't fly. So handily, we've got the uh, Constellation Air Killer, so we have uh, a rover. So, you know, you saw the Constellation Aquila commercial a while ago. We are now doing this in the game in real time. Awesome. And you know, unlike, I mean, all those mounds we see, if we, if we have the time, we don't hear, but I'm sure when you guys get on Croc Planets V2, there will be lots of videos where people walk all the way around the planet or they go to the mountain they see in the distance, because that is not a skybox, that is actually the proper. Right. Uh, I guess he's watching the incoming sandstorm. That's, that looks like it's getting close. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Shit. Come on, hurry up, Vince. All right, quick, quick. Fucking jump. Lost our way in. Uh, all right, let's see here. That's where the black box is. Oh, hang on a sec. Is it no man? Oh. Right. That's where the black box would be. So let's uh, let's see if we let's find a way out. Put our little thing here, we can go 
that's where our rover was, and that's where we were the Connie up there. Which is probably about, I think, eight or nine kilometers away. 